Fully beat down! So I'm liking the lighting in here. I think I'm gonna go with this because I'm actually broadcasting during the day. Things I wanted to do was review viral videos that have been popping up and are su pretty successful on the internet, whether it be on Instagram or whether it be on here on YouTube or just in general. So today I thought I'd review something that I like really much. I just saw this yesterday and I'm really liking it just because of the top also because of the topic because it's a sensitive topic the topic that I'm refer going to refer to is bullying and the video related to that so there was this there's this video that I saw on Instagram my mom actually posted it on my wall anyways it shows this little scrawny kid uh, basically picking on this you know bigger kind of chunkier kid I will post it in the link below but anyways, the scrawny kid's picking on the big kid. At one point, he basically starts using him as a punching bag. And then there comes a point where the bigger kid has enough of it, picks the little scrawny kid up and just slams him on the ground. And I w actually got a little bit of satisfaction out of this because, you know, here you have the little scrawny kid who's, a, who's basically the bully. And this is regardless of whether, you know, where where he's coming from but he's a bully he's bullying the bigger kid who obviously has a little timid personality and the big kid stands up for himself then later in the video you have the scrawny kid's friend basically going up and standing up for him like he needs, needs someone to stand up for him basically getting in the big kid's face and then when the big kid starts to walk away the person who intervenes on the big kid's behalf is a girl. She walks in and pushes the friend away, and then that's where the video ends. I like this video, as I said, is because it involves a, ba a kid standing up to a bully, which, being someone who was bullied most the majority of my life, you know, to a degree, a little bit today still, I can really relate to this kid, and I can admire this kid for standing up to this bully, because, you know, I think we've all been bullied in some way or another in our lives, lives. and I don't really have much respect for bullies, honestly, because they go out there, and they're, they're honestly cowards. They go out and pick on the weak to make themselves feel better in some way, shape, or form. Regardless of what is happening at home, obviously, some of them, you know, come from abusive households, some of um you know, have something lacking in their life. But regardless, that is no excuse to go out and make yourself feel better by picking on somebody else, you know, that's weaker or different than you in some way, shape, or form. But apparently that was okay when I was in middle school because sixth grade was brutal. I was, you know, basically picked on the whole year, and it was not fun, let me tell you. Granted, I had friends, but it was difficult but and I had to work my way up in middle school because my school was a three-year middle school I started out in sixth grade and I was being brutalized by everybody I had to fight for respect and I fought for respect and seventh grade was kind of a transitional year I was still being bullied to a degree but I was also being respected to a degree which I can definitely appreciate and then eighth grade year I was respected by people and uh, you know I can and I am very thankful for that because it just shows that people change based on opinions of course nowadays bullying has taken a different term because you've got the whole cyber bullying issue and you know on social media, you've got, you know, it's, it's easier to, it's unfortunately easier and more creative to bully somebody, which I, you know, I can, I definitely bleed for those who, um, who get that. But, and of course, bullying transcends both sexes, it trans, it transcends both the female and the male and from what I understand, girls can be a lot more brutal than boys and incidentally, when girls were being brutal to me, I could definitely understand that. And, you know, the problem with the cross-gen, uh, cross-sex bullying is that you can't really do anything to the other gender if, or 
if you are a guy. You can't, you know, there's not much you can do. Or something I can admire is that the Gracie family who formed Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu actually has an anti-bullying seminar where they actually train kids to stand up to their bullies and actually earn their respect. And apparently it works because their goal, of course, is that fighting is a last resort. You go to the authorities and you tell them what's going on, whether that be a school principal or something like that. But you tell people and you go up that chain and only at that point when things get bad do you have to resort to you know fighting somebody which it's it's not always the best option just depending on who you're going up against but one of the things they tell you is that of course with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu you're dealing with grappling and of course most kids don't know grappling they know basic stand up you know duking it out so basically if you go if you take a kid down and you come you know, put them in a situation where they're not used to, they will fold. And apparently this has worked. Fortunately, bullying falls us into the adult life, whether it be the workplace or whether it be the, the political field or the social field or just whatever, you know, you're all, we're always going to have bullying. It's just unfortunately a way of life, but we need to learn how to cope with it all. Let me down!